testing out the Aglaia dash cam using the front camera only at full high def. I believe this is 1920 by 1080. Back camera is not connected right now. Checking out the audio. There are some pros and cons to this camera. Um, I do not like that they have the power cable at the top and they did not include a right angle connector. I understand why they didn't, but I don't like it. I wish that there was a suction cup to make this a temporary mount. I do like how it mounts. It mounts the way they have it set up. It's completely out of the way. You can hide it behind the mirror, maybe. My car, I've got a whole, uh, whole thing around the rear view mirror, so I can't really hide it that well, but it's much better than a suction cup mount. But if it had a suction cup mount, I could mount it in the car and then take it out. The way it is now, I can't take it out, and I do not like that. So the main thing is, do I like the quality? I like that it will accept a 128 gig memory card. I like that it has a rear camera. If you don't want to use the rear camera, you don't have to. If you want to use the rear camera on a side window, or if you want to use the front and the rear, both on the front windshield, you can do that. It's all up to you. I'm checking out the audio right now. We're going to see if I can include it in the video. Um, very easy. The menus are extremely simple to set up. I don't know if it allows a firmware update because it didn't say anything that I saw in the manual about the firmware updates. But it does list the firmware, so maybe it does allow updates. I don't know. Um, it's 1080, it's 1920 by 1080, I believe 30 frames. So that's good for nighttime. That's good. You'll get some very nice resolution at nighttime. You want 30 frames a second and in the dark. Uh, you don't want to use 60 frames at night because it's going to make it much harder to see. You want to use 30 frames at night and they allow you to do that in the 720p setup. So, again, very easy to set up. I never looked at the manual. I just uh, press buttons. There's four buttons on here. It's very easy to figure out what you're doing and how to make the settings. It does not include a GPS. You can buy an additional GPS and connect it. One thing that you might not know, I noticed on the box, it says, this company is a trademark of Aukey, A-U-K-E-Y. Aukey makes dash cams. They're a big seller of dash cams. So uh, you're getting this camera from a good company. It has uh, the same lens in the front and the back. In the back, you've got a 170 degree view. That's very wide, and I like that. We'll see how the video looks when I get home. For the, uh, the back window, I believe it's 152 degrees. Uh, it's supposed to have very good night vision. I'm not going to test the night vision. I drive in the daytime, and I love having a dash cam. Anybody that's had a dash cam in the car can tell you once you were driving and the dash cam isn't in the car, you wish you had it. You see a lot of things that you are glad you're able to record in case you need it. It has a, I think it's called a G sensor. The G-Sensor, it will detect if you were in an accident or uh, and turn on the camera. It will turn on the camera and, and, and record, and I believe it will save the video 30 seconds before and 30 seconds after. It does not have a button that allows you to, uh, to press the button so that it will do that record and save, but if it detects the G-Force, the G-Sensor uh, goes off, it will save that video. There is a section uh, on the memory card where it will save both video and photos. So the neat thing is you can you can disconnect the camera if you want to and take out your cables. You can remove the SD card from the camera and take it into the house and put it into a reader and get your video files that way, or you can. I don't know, well, you can disconnect the camera. The Let me say that, the camera can be disconnected from the mount. It is a really solid, tight mount, so it doesn't slide apart easily. But you can take the camera out of the car if you want to. Not as easy as a suction cup mount, but you can remove the camera and take it into the house. 
you've got to connect your own cable. You have to provide your own cable. It's the old style mini USB cable to USB A connected to your uh, your computer, and you can pull the files off that way. Very easy to do. Or again, you could, like I said, you can take the SD card. Uh, I prefer to do it with the cable. It does not count. It does not include the memory card. It does not include the USB cable. Just went in to get an ice cream cone. As I'm walking to the car, I noticed I can barely see this camera. I've got the camera mounted in the center of the windshield, held on with double-sided tape. And the way the profile of this camera is, you can barely see it from outside the car. Very hard to see, which is nice. If you're able to mount your camera all the way up against the headliner area, no one's going to see it. No one's going to notice it. I'm going to be going into the airport tunnel now, so we're going to have a simulation of nighttime in the daytime. There's going to be a little bit of light in the tunnel, and we'll get a view of what the camera is able to do in darker situations. It's not a bad camera. For the price, it's a really cool deal, and you're getting the back camera also, which makes it a much better deal. We'll check out the quality of the video when I get home. I'll tell you though, you go out and you buy a dash cam and you're going to feel a lot more comfortable, a lot more secure when you're driving. You're going to be much better at driving because you're, you're more aware of what you're seeing and what the camera is seeing. Now when you're driving, if you get in an accident and it's your fault, that can be pulled into court. Something you need to be aware of. So if you're speeding and you've got this on cam, they can pull it into court. But if somebody else is speeding and you get in an accident, you can take that into court and take it to your insurance company and really save yourself. So I recommend having a dash cam. Once you put it in the car, you're not going to want to take it out. So we're almost at the airport tunnel right now. And we're going to see what it does in the dark, kind of dark. And when I get home, I'll give you my 100% honest opinion of what I think of the quality of the video. Looking over at the 105 freeway in Los Angeles, we're right next to uh, PCH Sepulveda, the runway for the airport. And we are going to be turning into the tunnel any minute now. Got a police car up here on the left. The white car with the light bar that you would never notice unless you had a dash cam and then all of a sudden you were aware of everything that you are seeing when you're driving. So it really does make you a much better driver, a much more self-conscious driver of what you're doing. Welcome to the city of Los Angeles. Looks like the traffic's a little backed up, so we're going to be able to get maybe a minute of simulated darkness driving through the tunnel. Most dash cams are not going to be able to see license plates unless you put them on a computer and zoom in. And some of them might not be able to see that. But you're not really getting it so much for the license plate. You're getting it to, to show that you weren't at fault in an accident. We are now in the tunnel. I know there is light in here. Gives you an idea of what it's going to be like driving at night. Not 100% darkness. You'll notice all cars that drive people now, all taxis, they all have dash cams. Most of the police cars in the country, they are now using dash cams. Drivers for hire, they use dash cams. If you're looking for a camera that is recording the cabin, this one is not for you. I believe they have a different model that will record inside the cabin. This records the front dash, the front windshield, and the back window. There are other cameras that record the 
windshield and the cabin. So it's recording the driver and the people that are in there. So when I get home, I'll check it out. I'll let you know what I think of the quality of the video. You'll be able to see it too as we are driving through the tunnel. It's also just really nice. If you are into uh, Instagram or YouTube, there are a lot of people now that are taking their dash cams and driving around the city, giving tours, video tours for people. They're making, uh, posting videos of different parts of the city, the good parts and the bad parts. So you get a chance to see your whole town, your whole neighborhood, the city you live in, drive around, let people see what it's all about. You get to see what it's all about. You get to explore. I love taking the car, driving up and down the roads by the beach and letting the people that used to live in the neighborhood, I post the videos online, let the people see the changes of the town they grew up in. It's fascinating to see the comments. There's a lot of good in owning a dash cam. Hopefully this video has helped you out a lot. Please do a thumbs up, subscribe, a like, a share, leave a comment. I'm leaving affiliate links in the video description so you can purchase the camera. Make sure you check out my channel, Learning Chords, all in capital letters, Learning Chords.